So hi everyone and very good morning to my beloved lecturer and today I will be talking about my industrial training in my company and first of all I would like to introduce myself my name is Sumit Devan Muyandi with a metric card number 1911-32204 and from the course RK07 Bachelor in Environmental Engineering and today I will be talking about my industrial training in a company called Kinari Technologies in Randberg High. So I will begin my presentation in the company background. Okay, so Inari Technologies in Randberg High is one of the Malaysia's biggest and largest technology company and it has about a production floor space of 1.8 million square feet across Malaysia, China and Philippines. And Inari Technologies in Randberg High is a leading OSET. OSET means Outcome Semiconductor uh, Assembly and uh, Testing Provider to multinational and locally electronic product manufacturers. And Inari Technology is certified with ISO 9001 and also ISO 14001. Inari Technology also provides several services such as wafer. Uh, testing, bag grinding, solving, as well as wire bonding, and many more. So this is all about the company background. And next, I'll be bringing you on to the next video, which is about the job scope I'm doing in this company. So now I'll be presenting to you my internship activities. These internship activities will be divided into two sectors. One environment another one is safety so for the environmental part i have involved in waste disposal waste management iso 14000 order preparation and also wastewater collection and for the safety part i was involved in ptw monitoring ergonomic review and uh, chemical spill drill and also osl batch collections my very first task in this uh, industrial training is waste management so i was assigned to prepare labeling for all the scheduled waste bin and also general waste bin i've prepared the label which has the scheduled waste code and also photo of the waste upon that i also involved in making video for proper waste disposable and this video is intended to be played in the production for promoting proper waste disposable of scheduled waste and also general waste next is waste disposable so in this part i will go through all the process involved in the waste disposable this part has been divided into two which is waste management and also waste disposable waste management is blue color lining while waste disposable is red color lining so starting off with waste management generation of waste then segregation based on schedule waste code the waste that involved in this company commonly are SW410, SW409, SW140, SW322 and general waste. So all these wastes will be segregated based on the schedule waste code and it will be weighed in the next process is labeling. After that we will temporarily store all the schedule waste in the uh, scrap room number 27 all right so after that we will move on to the next part which is waste disposable so in this part we will uh, declare all the waste in ec inventory declaration then you will go on to the custom declaration and then we will email the invoice to the vendor after that on the day of collection we will prepare several documents such as seven schedule property pass and consignment note on the day of collection we will assist the vendor to collect the waste and the vendor will collect the waste next i was also involved in iso 14001 audit preparation so in this part i have learned a lot of knowledge I have assigned to help the environmental engineer in evaluation of environmental aspect and impact and also environmental risk and opportunity. So I have learned a lot of things such as environmental aspect and impact are divided into input and output. Both the input and output has its own environmental aspect and own environmental impact. And also for the risk and opportunity, I have learned to broaden my knowledge on how to evaluate uh, situation whether it's a risk or opportunity and also if it's a risk what is the uh, impact or what is the consequences 
Besides that, I have also involved in wastewater collection. Wastewater collection will be done weekly and it will be sent to the laboratory to check the wastewater quality weekly. And next, I also involved in OSL batch collection. OSL stands for Optical Stimulated Luminance. This actually measures the radiation exposure from the machine. So this will be done monthly. And in this plant, there are a total of three machines involved this OSL batch. For the safety sectors, I also involved in several work. Firstly, permit to work monitoring. Work such as involving cranes and movers. Safety officers always have to uh, verify the machine's permit, driver's license and also IC number. Next, we have to inspect the machinery involved. Such in the case of crane, we have to make sure that the crane is in a good condition. The things that we have to inspect are boom, outrigger, light, any sign of hydraulic leakage and how is the rope and everything. And also we have to make sure that the working condition area is safe to work. And we also have to make sure that the workers are always equipped with personal protective equipment such as safety harness, safety boots, safety helmets and many more. Not only that, I also involved in chemical spill drill. I had opportunity to present the chemical spill drill to the employees. So in this chemical spill drill, I myself have learned a lot of information and also I have shared several information with the employee. Last but not least, I also involved in ergonomics interview. I had the opportunity to interview several Inari employees on their health pain due to work. So now we are in the ending part of my presentation. So in this part, I want to thank my supervisor for providing me a lot of knowledge and also work experience. And, uh, and also I want to thank uh, Unimap for giving me this opportunity to do industrial training. And uh, that's all from me. Thank you so much.